This salad is very quick and easy, and it only has four main ingredients. It's a coleslaw. You might say, well, you've forgotten the carrots and you've forgotten the capsicum, but this coleslaw is actually lovely just as it is. Well, it might not look lovely, but when you taste it, it's beautiful with the yes. crunchiness of the yeah. nuts. I guess we could call it a green coleslaw, couldn't we? I think Because so. usually coleslaw has got colours. And so we've got three cups of... Um, shredded cabbage. Sh shredded cabbage, thank you. I think we've probably got a little more there than what we need. Okay. And we've also got a half a cup of cucumber that we've cubed. Now that's not a usual ingredient for coleslaw, but it's really nice in this. It makes it just lovely and fresh. And we've got some celery, just one stick of celery, chopped into little pieces. And I've used some of the celery leaves. Okay. That does add a little more flavour too. And that gives a nice light yellow green yes, colour. Yes, it does. We've got some more colours there in the greens. Yeah. And these are uh, spring onions. And so we're going to mix that a little and then we're going to add some dressing. And the dressing that I'm going to add is just a low-fat mayonnaise with some lemon juice and some um, tomato, uh, tomato juice. juice that's been added. Could you stir that for me, please? Yes. So we just need to mix it through with a low-fat dressing. Yes. All now right. I'm ready when you are, Sibylla. Pour it on. Oops. All right. Thank you. Now it's just a matter now of um, working this through the vegetables. You'll notice that when you're working with cabbage and you put dressing on the cabbage that it sort of holds it, it almost clumps it. Yes. And so you need to keep stirring. The idea is to only use enough dressing to moisten the ingredients and, and to complement what you've chosen to use instead of everything being stuck together. So we don't really want to drown the natural no. flavours of the vegetables, do we? We do not. And so extra mixing is what is required, but you will be very happy with the end result. And there are people who are happy with salads that only have a small amount of dressing on them, the mayonnaise type of dressings, who normally may say, no, I'm not really into coleslaw because of all the dressing. Yeah. Not everybody actually enjoys mayonnaise. And if you look back at the traditional coleslaw, which came from Europe, you'll find that it had a, a French type dressing. It wasn't even a mayonnaise. Oh, really? So somewhere along the line... That has changed to a mayonnaise, which we are using. But you can put any dressing on there that you would like. And so the final ingredient, which really makes a difference, are these dry roasted uh, slivered almonds. And we're going to put them through. You can just sprinkle them on top, but I'm just going to fold them through. And you'll find that that really is the key or the secret ingredient that just gives it that really lovely flavour and texture. That nutty crunchiness in yes. the coleslaw. Yeah, it's beautiful. Here we are. Put it into our serving bowl. Look at that. That is a beautiful salad that you can serve at any time of the day. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.